Hi, and welcome to Dream Diary TV. I'm Dream, and this is my vlog about art and music. So today's episode is pretty dark. So if imagery of a dead animal upsets you, offends you, you don't want to see it, then I would click away now. Today's episode is about my piece that I just completed. I think I'm going to call it Road Rays, Life After Death. So, of course, you know I like working with found objects and it crossed my mind to start using roadkill. After I found my first dead hare, rabbit, I started wondering if I could get any diseases or anything like that from the roadkill. I did discover that there is a laundry list of infections, parasites, diseases, all kinds of horrible things, um, including fatalities um, from these diseases that you can get from touching or consuming roadkill. I did collect a second hair last night and I took both of those hairs home. Now today I researched more and just found more and more info about the diseases you could get from these. But I had the idea for this art and I wanted to go through with it, so I decided to use the less damaged hair. What I basically wanted to evoke was a sense of nurturing for this dead animal and also just kind of bringing attention to the roadkill, to the dead animal, just to look at it almost objectively so you could have your own subjective view. I, this isn't really an anti meat piece or an anti-driving piece. I don't really know what it is exactly. But I just wanted to examine or observe these dead animals. Now, I love animals. I totally love animals and I I actually wanted to extract the fur and pelt from these creatures so that I could have nice fur without an animal having to die specifically for that reason. Now after researching and figuring out how many diseases I could get and everything, I've decided to mess with these dead animals as little as possible, but I did want to break through fear in order to create this piece. So the first step was collecting that first piece of roadkill, um, that dead rabbit. There really was a line to cross. Um, I was really scared. Uh, I was revolted. Um, I was concerned for my safety and health. Um, but I decided to cross the line and collect it. And then the second time I collected another animal, it was easier. But after researching all the diseases I could get, um, I started regretting even collecting them. But I decided to break through another level of fear and just do the piece. So I chose the hair that was less damaged and I essentially did two shots. One, just holding up the hair and examining it, looking at it basically blankly, um, letting the viewer decide how they would react. Um, now I was naked as well in these shots in order to uh, achieve a sense of sort of vulnerability on my part and sort of in in company with the vulnerability that the animal suffered in its death. I also wanted to have my chest out evoking a sort of nurturing vibe. Um, when I would hold the, the animal like, like this. And so I broke through the fear and decided to do the piece anyway. Um, I think I got some really good shots. This is a photo piece still. I only got still photos. I was going to do slow motion and all that. But once I set up the shot and everything, um, I was so freaked out about handling the dead animal that um, I just wanted to get through it as fast as possible. Now, I did touch it to my body, and I do hold it in my hands. Um, this is all real. There is no Photoshop whatsoever. So I'm putting myself at risk of real danger to my health 
and my life. And um, a lot of my art has this element of danger in it. So for me, it was worth it. Now, I basically freaked out afterwards. Um, and honestly, I was feeling almost like I was allergic to the rabbit fur. The fur was coming off. It was getting on my chest and on the carpet and everywhere. And um, it was really scary to work with something that I knew could make me sick or kill me. At one point, uh, the animal did eject a bit of bile or feces onto my belly. That really freaked me out. Um, I cleaned it off with a sterilizing wipe immediately. Um, but feces is one way that you can contract diseases from dead animals. So that definitely was frightening. Uh, so, you know, basically I didn't want to feel weak. So I went ahead and did the photo shoot. Now, I do want to create a sense of shock. I do want to do something that's controversial and that people haven't seen before. I mean, to me, that's a good element of art. In ways I think I probably shouldn't have even done and if I were to recommend to you I would say don't don't do art that risks your life but I have done this in the past before like uh, my other piece where I laid down next to a live wire in the street and had my photograph taken you know and these firefighters came and they got all pissed off that I was near it and thought I was really stupid for risking my life well I mean, to me, that's that's art, you know, danger and, and the fact that I'm willing to go the length to risk my life for my art shows how committed I am. Yeah, so I'm glad I got the photos I did and accomplished my mission of creating this vision that I had seen for this very um, shocking clash of my naked body with a dead animal. And I do think, I do think the animal is still cute and I love, I just really appreciate it and wanted to try to give it life after death, try to lend some value to it dying because I do think it's really lame that so many animals are killed by cars and I, I wish people would drive more carefully and be more aware of animals crossing the road um, so in a sense that is part of this art but it's not just that it's not that simple um, it's more just a an observation but also that um, clash of my naked skin and this gruesome dead animal was it worth it in the end, shooting this piece that could risk my health? I mean, that will remain to be seen, but it really did shake me after the shoot. And I went through and sterilized everything with wipes and I vacuumed and everything like that. But you could even get stuff just by breathing near the dead animal. So um, this piece was really dangerous to do and I hope it was worth it in the end. I hope you enjoy these images. I only got a few out of it, but I was really only looking for one or two images and I think I got them. So let me know what you think about this piece. Let me know how you react to the photos themselves. Let me know what you think about my process. Would you risk your life for your art? Would you risk your health for your art? Leave me comments below and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching Dream Diary TV.